Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another quick pick prediction video. In this video, I'll be predicting the lightweight bout on the contender series between James Lintop or Lontop versus Malik Lewis and high football. This one right here is I'm going low confidence Malik Lewis to beat James Lontop. I feel like Lontop is, um, I definitely feel like he's the more dangerous, more consistent striker. His pace could be, you know, smothering, could be, you know, debilitating, could break you down. And, you know, he has pretty decent elbows and a clinch, could, like, definitely touch you on that temple or behind the ear and put your lights out. He's, like, a guy you can't sleep on or he will sleep you. But I feel like Malik Lewis is the more tactical fighter overall, the better fight IQ overall. And, um... I feel like he's get, give up takedowns to just about everyone he fights. I mean, he was fighting a guy who was like 16 and 14. He gave up a takedown to him, let the guy get like 30, 40 seconds of control time on him. Take his back, like, like seriously. Like, you in Peru, you in Mexico, you in South America. Not like Brazil or nothing, but um, where is it? I don't know. Let me not get my geography all messed up. But you, you're not where it is. Like, you're not dealing with Brazilians and Americans and Russians and stuff like that. You're not, you're dealing with... Ecuadorians, Peruvians, Mexicans, who right now at this point, a lot of them just got terrible grass. Especially you go in there with guys who's like 16 to 15. How are you giving up these takedowns to these guys and looking awful at points on the ground? Like, and I feel like Malik Lewis, even in the Trevor Peak fight, I picked him to beat Trevor Peak. I felt he was the more technical fighter, but it could be the same thing. Like, he did more technical fighter, but they were able to find his chin, and that's all it takes. Like, he looked good against Trevor Peak through the first round. Trevor Peak eventually found his chin and put him out. But I feel like with Trevor Peak, he at least had the grappling defense, or like the wrestling experience and whatnot, to be able to, you know, defend the takedowns and keep this as a striking match, to be able to stalk him and find a shot, where I feel like, um, at this point, James Lontop has not really shown me really any exceptional takedown defense, really any, any exceptional grappling, not to say he has poor submission defense or anything like that, and I'm not expecting no submission from either guy, to be honest, but I definitely see Malik Lewis being able to mix it up, be able to take him down, take time off the clock, if he starts to pressure too much and he needs that, I mean, Lontop starts to pressure too much, and he needs that breather, that catch, or that time to catch his senses back. I feel like he'll be able to find those takedowns and drive him to the mat. You know, if he feel like he's bigger, longer, and can mix it up better. No, what I mix it up better, but like he can mix his overall game up. He can mix strikes with the takedowns up. On the feet, pure striking, I probably say I would still probably say I feel Malik Lewis the better fighter, pure striking. But I feel like you know he don't stay on the feet too long or too extended. I feel he can be caught and he can be a bit chinny, so that's the concern there. But ultimately, I'm going Malik Lewis' decision. I feel like he should be able to mix it up and not allow um, Lontop to get his um, get it going too too much. Like really have him having to um, fight in, in spots where Malik Lewis is going to be the one controlling the fight, dictating the fight, and using his superior fight IQ and better overall skill set to beat um, James Lontop. So in this one, I have Malik Lewis via decision. 